Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Grand Design Transcend. Model number 321BH, weighs 7,600 pounds, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, one main slide, a great floor plan with great travel access. Just an awesome trailer. This trailer could count to infinity. This trailer have you throwing some shade, and I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's up, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. You got a couple kids, you need a second bathroom, can't have them tying up your bathroom. Hit the like and subscribe button. We're putting out awesome content like this all the time. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook. We're going to produce a sweet reel of this one. It's also on the YouTube shore, so check it out. It's going to be sweet. Right on, Brendan. Front power jack, 20 pound per paint tanks, a battery of box location right in behind there. Now all these transcends come stock with a 165 watt solar panel on the roof, coming down through the charge controller and charging your battery for you there. We've got our pass-through storage. You've got lights on both sides of the pass-through. you got your city water uh, hookup and your fresh water fill, your Furion solar display, battery disconnect, outside receptacle, and there's that charge controller right there. Four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner that are manual, black water flush kit, sewer drain down through here. And then we got 15 inch tires in through here with black rims, but chrome don't get you home. Secondary sewer drain down through here for your secondary bathroom with a secondary black water flush kit. 50 amp detachable style cord. You've got yourselves a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Full size spare. We're gonna cover that up with a beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover. Outside spray pour right here, a two cubic, uh, sorry, two burner stovetop with a two cubic foot electric fridge. There's actually a little receptacle in through there, so you can maybe park a toaster or some kind of appliance in through there. And then our electric awning starts here, covers our kitchen, covers our main door. We got three step aluminum tread steps up and in. And then we have our fresh water fill. This fresh water fill is important though, so if you don't have an end on the hose, you can still gravity feed your fresh water tank for yourselves. Six gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent, and then your outside TV location here. Now Brandon, just hop up and in here, show how easy it is to get to the main bedroom and the bathroom with the slide out closed, and we'll come back out and go the other way. All easy right. peasy. Easy peasy up into that secondary bathroom. And if the kid needs to go at the same time? Yeah, double bathroom action. We can easily get here to our secondary bathroom, boom, boom, and we can get to our couch, dinette, and our fridge all on the side of the road. Let's get this thing popped open. Right on, folks. We're coming inside that Transcend 321. You're standing in the main bathroom there, looking through the living space. Let's talk about this bunk area first, I think. Here at the back, we've got two-piece bathroom, and that's right, we got a porcelain toilet, even in the secondary bathroom in through here. Hip space is good. We got some cupboards down here, smaller sink, and we've got a mirror. You know how I feel about mirrors, Brennan. Into the bunk room itself, <clears throat> we've got these corner style bunks. I really like these bunks because yeah, if you got four smaller kids, boom, 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 fit them all in here. Let's say you've got a longer kid or taller kid. They can go right across this back one and that's almost eight feet long. So they're gonna fit there for length. We've got a built-in ladder in through here, four drawers. They're all the same size, nice and big in through there. Nice little cubbies right there. And then we do have these smaller drawers right in through here. Now, this is gonna be awkward because this door opens in, but you gotta be. Mm -hmm. Awesome possum, buddy. Lots of lights in through here, lots of windows. Yeah, three windows here in the bunk room, and yeah, lots of lights in through here with a vent. And a TV location. Thank you, Brendan. Here. Nice segue into the living space. As we come in the living space, we do have a spot here to kick off our shoes, hang up our coats, throw off our bags or our hats, that kind of thing. Our TV location is across from our trifold sofa, open covered here. And then our pantrytainment space is in through here with a radio down below. That is a Roku TV. It is on arm if you want to have it face the dinette. But right now it's facing the couch. We have our 8 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Remember, this is running off the battery, which is being charged off the solar panel or the truck or the hydro cord if you're plugged in. 
drawers. We got a glass stove top cover over top of our three burner stove top. Oven down below with the LED light in it. Actually, I shouldn't say if it's LED. With a halogen light in that oven. Pot and pan drawer here. And then two cutlery drawers that are pretty big in here, AB. Eh, Very large. Nice and deep. Nice and deep, brother. Then you have space there for a garbage can and a recycling bin. Seamless counters, undermount stainless steel sink, pull out faucet. There is no sink cover, but you can always get one for yourself there. And then we have cup and bowl space here. Plates and dessert plates here. Microwave open stores there for your Cocoa Puffs. My boy Travis. Right here, you have a kitchen window facing your campsite. And then flipping it all around, we got our booth dinette right here. We can put this up and down for a secondary bed. We got cupboard space down below it. We have reversible cushions here. So you have like the leatherette facing out or the plaid. I'm a big plaid guy. We got windows here in the slide and then our couch does go into a secondary bed down in through here. Nice skylight in the living space and another vent in through here. I think there's four vents overall in this trailer. Porcelain toilet. Again, the hip space fits. The dump truck fits, pardon me. Hip space is good, dump truck fits. Shelving in through here. Good counter space as it extends down the side. Cupboard space there. Again, a smaller sink with a medicine cabinet. And we have this linen closet right here. I'm six feet tall. Yeah, I fit in through here. It's got the Nautilus style door. Lots of overall size in through here. Into the bedroom, we have a 60 by 80 inch queen. So that's a full size queen. Hanging storage on the one side, drawer on the other side. I think we got the second verse, same as the first over there. Yep. And then there is open storage across the top with storage here underneath the bed. And then yeah, just another vent in the bedroom for good measure. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below, and then have yourself a good day.